Hey YouTube fam, it's Claudia here again with another video. In today's video, I'll be going over the skills that companies are looking for when they're looking to hire for customer support roles. This type of work primarily involves written communication via email, chat, forms, and social media. Occasionally, I do jump on phone calls and I also do screen sharing, for example, if someone wants a demo call or onboarding. As the initial point of contact for existing and potential customers, you get all kinds of questions. It can range from a simple configuration question, it could be a product knowledge question, it could be a sales question, or even troubleshooting. It really varies. And when you're not engaging with customers, you might be doing other things such as reporting bugs, working on documentation, or even improving internal processes. What skills are companies looking for? Here are the basic skills essential for customer support roles. Effective communication. So this means that you're able to grasp and understand what the customer is trying to explain to you, as well as you have to be able to explain technical information in an understandable manner. Tone and language. So this means that you know how to display empathy and adopt a warm, accessible writing style. It also means that you know when to joke around, you know when to throw in an emoji or even a GIF. Typing speed. If you can type fast, because most of the work is text-based, then your productivity will be very high. Adaptability to change. In tech, things are constantly changing super fast. There are new features, there are new tools, so you have to be able to grasp new concepts quickly. Ability to follow instructions. A lot of the Help Center articles are there for you to guide the customers, so you need to be able to follow those articles. And a lot of internal processes are also documented in written form, so you need to be able to follow all these instructions when they're shared with you. Attention to detail. When you're configuring apps for merchants or when you're reporting bugs to developers, one little detail that is different could mean something completely different. So being detail-oriented is extremely important. Speaking another language is always a plus. You will see that a lot of apps, they want to be able to translate their app into another language or they also offer their help center in different languages. If you could speak and write a different language, you could help out with translations. Let's check out a couple of job listings and take a look at the skills that they've highlighted. Here's a really interesting job listing on Jobacy. It's by a company called Hospitable.com and they're looking to hire a customer support advocate in the Asia Pacific region. Here are the job details, salary $87,000, USD per year is really really good for Asian standards. This would be considered managerial or even directorial level. So Hospitable.com, they build software for Airbnbs to rent themselves. This job listing caught my eye because I used to be an Airbnb host. If you check out this job listing, they explain to you what you will be working on, investigate and troubleshoot user issues, onboard customers and answer questions on our product, and this is done with live chat, email, and Zoom calls. You will create bug reports, create video and written content, act as a feature champion and also collaborate with the team on best working practices and issue resolution. In this section, you kind of get a glimpse of what you'll be doing on a daily basis. And if you scroll down, they share the requirements for the job, like which location you should be in. And they also say if you're hesitant to apply for this position because you feel that you don't meet this list of qualifications fully, don't worry because they still want to hear from you. They also highlight how many years of experience would be good, as well as some skills such as attention to detail and eagerness for constant improvement, and a very special kudos if you are an Airbnb host or have been working in a short-term rental business. Here's another interesting job listing I came across on Just Remote. They're looking to hire a customer support representative. The position is permanent and fully remote. This one is for those of you living in the United States. 
This is for a company called Mural and they're pretty well known in the tech industry. Their product was designed specifically for hybrid, remote, and distributed teams. And so if you scroll down in this section called your mission, there's a simple explanation on what you'll be doing. You will respond to customer requests, provide general support, and engage with customers to help them achieve their goals. There's more details on what you'll be doing and your responsibilities. So here it says you'll be managing and responding to customer requests, understand our customers and become their advocate, educate and instruct customers through email, chat, phone call, and video, assist the customer experience team, collaborate with the product team, collaborate with customer success. In the experience section, they tell you that they're looking for someone who can work independently in a fast-paced startup environment because things are constantly changing super fast. And they also share what kind of skills and experience that they want their ideal candidate to have. So fluency in spoken and written English, additional languages are a plus, willingness and passion for understanding, helping and teaching customers, the curiosity to find new, better ways to solve problems, a strong passion to help teams succeed and empathy with users, two plus years experience in customer support, ideally B2B, which is business to business, experience troubleshooting and reporting bugs, experience tracking bugs, great visual communication skills, remote working experience, and the ability to provide clear and concise guidance through emails, over the phone, video, or in person. I hope I've given you a clearer picture of what customer support is like. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments and do not forget to subscribe.